hilarious video of two German guys drinking helium beer. <laughs> Our subscribers on Facebook have asked, how did the helium beer work? Well, the answer is exceedingly complicated why helium makes our voice pitch sound higher but it's not actually the pitch that changes when we talk with helium and to understand why first we need to understand how sound works so sound travels in waves as you probably already know one single note is made up of lots of different waveforms and the variations in the waveforms is what gives it a certain quality that's why different musical instruments that make the same note still sound different piano playing a C sounds different to a guitar playing the C. The pitch or the note is the same, but the timbre or the quality of the sound sounds different. Normally when we make sounds with our vocal cords, the sound waves are traveling through air and air is quite dense, so the sound waves go slowly at about 350 meters per second. But when we breathe in helium, the sound isn't traveling through air, it's traveling through the helium. So the higher frequency waves are amplified as they come out of our mouths. So the sound that we hear has a slightly different timbre to our normal voice. If you don't believe me that the pitch is the same, we're gonna do an experiment where I'm gonna sing a note with normal air and then I'm gonna breathe in some helium and show you how it sounds. Ready? Normal voice. Ha. different but not higher just more squeaky <laughs> <laughs> so if you're wondering how they got the helium in the beer I'm sad to say that this whole video is a prank their voices were altered digitally and there's a number of reasons why helium beer would never be possible helium is almost completely insoluble in water it doesn't dissolve in into the beer so it couldn't make the bubbles that we're familiar with in beer it would just make one giant bubble and as soon as you open the can that bubble would come out you also can't liquefy the helium to put it in the beer helium gas turns into a liquid at a temperature of around minus 200 degrees fahrenheit so all you'd really do is make a beer popsicle that's really cold <laughs> good video though balloon hello balloon dead balloon thanks for watching psyq see you next time Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.